Ukraine's at war with itself. Its people bear the brunt of a brutal conflict about identity and sovereignty. And this is what's become of parts of its industrial heartland. Desolate. Destroyed. Both sides say they're defending their territory. In truth, their shells are invariably slamming into civilian areas. Here, captured on video by local residents. The results are as terrifying as they are devastating. More than 5,000 have been killed, a million and a half uprooted. These are the rebels, pro-Russian and battling government plans to join the EU. What these men are fighting for is nothing less than the creation of a new state here in eastern Ukraine. The more blood that's been spilt, so the more entrenched positions have become. Both sides now have a very different vision of the future. And without a political resolution, they're willing to enforce that through massive firepower. Russia's accused of sending troops and armour to help the rebels, an allegation Moscow denies. But there are shared visions for the future of eastern Ukraine. In the beginning, we just wanted more autonomy, but after everything the Ukrainian army has done to us, we want to be independent. We will create Novorossiya as a separate state. But the people are paying heavily for this war. In a subterranean shantytown, two old women hide from the artillery shells overhead. Vera and Ludmilla have been down here for seven months. <laughs> Two pensioners and their pets forced underground. The government shelled their homes and cut off their pensions. They're trying to recreate a little bit of life above ground, but with no means of escape. Our pensions aren't being paid. Could they at least give us our pensions so we can go and buy something to eat? It's been seven months since they stopped our money. What can we hope for? We seem to have been somehow erased from some list and we are nowhere. It's Ludmilla's birthday today. She's 73. The only ones who dare patrol the streets above them are the young men of the rebel army. This crisis is escalating at an alarming rate. And if peace talks fail again, the war on Europe's eastern flank risks spiralling even further out of control. Ian Panel, BBC News, Donetsk.